Good morning and welcome. How is everybody today? Hope you are well. Just finishing restarting some applications that I had to shut down in order to do the um, XSplit update. There we go. Pop in my host train real quick. Alrighty, here we go. Bring down the splash screen. I think I'm all set. Oh, wait, that's right. I wanted to do a giveaway this week. So let me get the giveaway ready. Oh, okay, giveaways. Where's my giveaway thing? Here's the spreadsheet. Studio. Okay. So I do have some DP codes to give away. Let's run it. Shrink this, bring this over here. Add, capture. Well. There we go. Okay. So I did get the right box. Excellent. So today's prize, let's just set it to 10 attendees needed. And our first is going to be red. Save as. Um, I have no idea what the episode number is, so we'll just save it as a date. Looks good. Mess up. Let's make the splash screen go away. There we go. Go. Oh. There we go. Can you hear me? Yeah. 
Excellent, excellent. So, let's, um, you can see our Movember thing is gone. Let's, um, check out our special pages real quick. See if there's any work to do there today. Yeah, we got some wanted categories that we could probably work on. We could do some scripting. Yeah, I hate doing scripting on the stream. Let's take a look at our recent changes. In... We were on last week. Seven days is fine. Okay, so puzzles and DDO, we worked on that last week. Named weapons by type. Oh, that's right. We were working on that. Hmm. we will take a look at that and see if there's been any discussion on it. Some block spam. Talk on the wolf page. Some sentient weapon changes. Take a look at those, I guess. Good morning, Eric. Let's add you to the giveaway list. Eric. V I C H I N G O. Oh, yeah, we're two of ten. One fifth of the way there. List of weapons. Uh, we should take a look at that because if I remember correctly, that's um, DPL built. Good morning, Titan. Let's enter Titan in the giveaway. He's number three. All right, let's see here. Good morning and welcome everybody. Let's take a look at what's happened in the last week here. Anything interesting here, NCL weapon. Oh, so it looks like Yoko has been doing an NCL weapon list. Hmm. Let's take a look at see what those are. Star of Day doesn't have an improved crit profile. All right, let's see here. Name weapons by type. Bastard swords. So no change there. Let's move to the help desk. That was four years ago. Like I'm guessing it's not an issue anymore. Am I an admin of the DDO wiki? I am. MM bug still current. I'm not sure, but I'll have to go into game and check on that one. Sentient weapon, all Levania base. We'll skip that and come back. Let's see here. Half.
Okay. So he's trying to build a table of weapons by level and proficiency. By using NCL. I'm not sure what he's going for there. But he knows how to get help if he needs it. Alright, let's take a look at sentient weapons. Sentient weapons is a mechanic that will be introduced in update 37 that will allow users, players to upgrade weapons with sentience, gaining mechanical benefits and roleplay effects. Um, I was under the impression that it was only minimum above minimum higher than level 20. It has to be 21 or above. So I'll need to check on that one. I'm pretty sure Cordovan said 20 or above, so that's not accurate. Cannot be placed in offhand. When a named weapon is unbound or bound unequipped, but not yet equipped, it will become bound to account if a sentient jewel is slotted. Because sentient jewels are bound to account. Also, a character on equip item, throw a sentient gen in it, and it'll become bound to account. That's cool. Crunching down named weapons will give 1 to 20, um, 100 to 140, 135, or 280. Oh, God. Anyway. Some filigree stuff. There's a separate page on filigrees themselves. So what I will be interested to see, since you can unslot the jewels, if you take a bound a character on equipped item that hasn't been equipped yet, and you slot in a sentient jewel, making it bound to account, then you equip the item. When you unequip the item, is it still bound on equip without an equip status? So you could still trade it? Or... Is it permanently bound to account? Because it was bound to account when it was equipped, which should click it in to make it permanently bound to account. So that'll be interesting to see how that mechanic works. They might have given us a way to bypass the bound to character mechanic for bound to character and equip items and make it bound to account. We will have to see. Filigree is an augment like ingredient you can add to your sentient jewel if you have a free slot. This should probably be in a collapse section here. Maybe.
Sentient destroyer tools, destroys a filigree, or even a jewel to open up the slot for a new piece. Simply drag the tools on a filigree or jewel slot to destroy the contents and free up the slot. You can purchase destroyers for platinum from tools vendors throughout DDO. There are specifically vendors in Ravenloft with shell destroyers. Sentient's toolkit. Onslaught of filigree or jewel. You can purchase them for DDO points. Hundred and fifty. So we we should we, we should edit that to make it easier to read. That's a really that looks like you know 150 DP for 1,595 DP for 5,995. That does, just doesn't look right. Let's see if we can um, make that easier to read before we move on. We're at the end anyway, so let's do this. Cost DP equals 150. Inline equals true. What does that look like? Let's see if I got this undefined. Oh, we're making progress. What if I get rid of the DP? There we go. So it's just cost number inline equals true. So we're going to make this easier to read. There, 150, Alrighty. Nope, oh, we can actually get rid of the Movember thing on my stream. I forgot that was there. Mobro, goodbye. So Landmark Explorer looks like the last follower for DDO stream. Excellent. All right, so let's see here. That looks much better. Let's see if we can confirm the um, level 21 up. Nothing that's helpful. How about here, Discord? Good morning, Todd. Let's add you to the giveaway. T O D D S Y W. That gives us four of ten. We're two fifths of the way there. All right, let's see here. Coco. Okay, so most names are not crafted. And have a minimum level of 21 or higher. So that is cr correct that it needs to be 21 or higher. Only minimum level 21 or higher. Named weapons can gain sentience.
I am. Alright, let's see here. What are we going to look at next? Uh, crafted upgradable weapons are out. Most name weapons that are not crafted and have a minimum level of 21 can't accept a jewel. So it says most. There might even be some that aren't, that won't. Well, as of right now, the most recent dev quote says 21, so we're going to go with 21 until there's a post on the forums or a dev quote somewhere that says otherwise. So there will be a tutorial for sentient weapons. I actually haven't done any testing or reading on this yet, so kind of absorbing as I go through. After that, new sentient jewels will be found infrequently, but when they are, they will be attached to a weapon. We expect new gems to come out as treasure occasionally in the coming updates. Each piece of sentient delivery has magical power on top of the weapon's enhancements. You have more power. So you don't have to slot any filigrees to level up the, the jewel, and the level of the jewel has no effect on the filigrees. Okay. Ah, so the XP only defines how many slots are open. Okay. It's a free text, voice, um, image sharing, video, screen sharing service. Okay, so you need an invite now. So if you click on that one, that'll take you to mine. That should take you to the one for DDO Wiki. And that should take you to the one for DDO Stream. You just click the links. Have you installed the client or are you using it through a web browser? Because the web browser version looks kind of like this. Okay. So the client doesn't look much different. You should be able to click on the thing to join another server. But you're not going to do that for those links that I shared with you. 
those links are just web links. You click on the links and it will open up. So if you take that link, for example, for the shoe store, right? And you paste it in there to your URL bar. It should go, you've been invited. And then Discord app launched. And then you should be able to head over to the app. which will look like this. So that's for the shoe store. This is for DDO Wiki, where you'll be for DDO Wiki. Here's DDO Stream. You can actually join me in the live stream voice channel. Edit this real quick. There we go. You can see Dino talks in there occasionally. We have a COBOL worker, which is a bot. Yes, white background. Because some people can't see black background. Very well. White background is superior. Anyway, over here we are. Okay, so that's that. So it's twenty one. Okay, so in the new tab, there should be a little thing that'll say accept. Click on accept and it will open the browser. I'm already in the server on this character, this um, username, so it just brings me right into the app. All right, so that's sentient weapons. There you go. Try this link. For DDO stream. It takes a while to load sometimes.
And you can try that one for DDO Wiki. Hello. Welcome. So now you just have to figure out how to unmute your microphone. made it into chat, just has to figure out how to unmute his microphone. There you go. So you're probably going to have to turn down the stream on your end to prevent feedback. Good morning, Biff. Welcome. All right, so let's see here. What is next to work on? That's sentient weapon stuff. I don't have a lot of things I had to work off today. Let's see. One uncategorized category, that would be root. Let's take a look at wanted categories, I guess. Got a couple sub race monsters I could probably do. These have sub braces. Let's take a look. They don't have sub braces. You can. Absolutely. Grab one. Sub race, there we go. Horn Devil. That's not what I want. Let's look at list. There we go, that's what I want. I want the category. How does the category work? More coffee, huh? So see also page on the sub race. Why is evil outsider? Well, I guess horned devils are evil outsiders. So anything related to the type sub race. Got slad, slad, red slad. Slads are race slad, evil outsider, evil outsider, S L A A D, slad race. I didn't want to do that. I want to do this. Uh, 
All right. There, that makes something for those. Even if the pages don't exist. Any other sub race things here? No. Okay, so that gets us down to 12. Alluring skill items. I don't know what to do with that. I could probably do the loot page, but meh. Alright, what else do we have here? Uncategorized pages. It's a lot harder finding categories for pages that don't have them. Good morning, Z Zylo. Let's add you to the giveaway here. X I L O the W I Z. Add. Save. There we go. Oh. That should be on top of those. All right. Up to five of ten, actually. Instead of doing that, let me shrink this down a little bit. I don't want it on top of the splash screen. There we go. That works. Shrink that back down. All right, uncategorized pages. Home isn't categorized. We're going to fix that right now. Home is going to be categorized as root. Oh, that's right. I can't do it on this count. I guess that one's going to have to stay there. Legendary Tempest Spine and Hound of Zoria shared loot. Reload types, name monster. A lot of these are nothing. Their ping is protected as well. Actually, not a lot of things here that don't have a category. All right, what else do we have? We have a lot of unused categories. I guess we could work on the script for that. <clears throat> if I could find the script for it. Let's see if I can find the script for it. Maintenance cat. What's this one? Oh, we were working on that, weren't we? It's this maintenance cat thing.
Move to new instance. All right, so what do we got? Query, query page, unused categories, UP limit max, done object QP for each QP query, query page result, function index of this page, new get query categories, this page title, index page ID is true, Category list, categories, DDO wiki maintenance categories, limit one. So check to see if this category is a maintenance category. If object cats, query pages, page ID categories, if, if it's true, if there is a category, then Look for the special line that has title, page name, append MC. Otherwise, give a link to delete. Okay. Seems reasonable. Let's copy this to our clipboard. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. There we go, I found it. Control Shift J. They moved it. All right, let's paste this in here. Is this the page for this? Yes, okay. So that's what I wanted to do. I want it to say, okay, that's a maintenance category. We can't do anything with it. All right, so everyone that says delete, let's um, tag them with delete. Or tag them as maintenance categories. Let's check to make sure that that's the correct way to do it. Include only so it's actually an instant delete link.
All right. That looks good. Marked for instant solution because of an unspecified reason. Check edit summary. Good. If we show preview on that, it should now say because it is an empty cat. Tag. Edit. Edit. An admin can just click on the that to delete it. Archive discussions. I'll have to look at the history of that. Artificer builds. Halfling pure art. This build of rocks might have to have spot item on at times to spot traps. What? I don't know what this is, but I can move it to P. Cornwall's page. Something I created. I'm going to leave it alone for now because I don't know what it is. Let's, um, age history. Let's throw it in their sandbox. Oh. Okay. So let's go to his sandbox. Sandbox.
right, so that puts that there so it's not lost. They can find it. It's on their page. Copy this back to my clipboard. All right, what else do we have here? Marked as delete. I'm gonna leave archives alone for now. That one's already tagged. That one's already tagged. Excellent. Thank you for the follow, Eric. Wiki maintenance isn't always exactly exciting, but needs to get done. So, and it's a little way that I can give back to the DDO community since I enjoy DDO so much. There's the follow notice. It's a little bit slow. Twitch alerts or stream labs or whatever they call themselves now. This is simple stuff that anybody can do. You just go through, find all the cats that are empty that aren't tagged as maintenance, and Tag them as instant delete reason it is an empty cat. Grab the next chunk. Actually, I don't know what I want to do with those yet. Yeah, it is quite relaxed. I do do some programming in the stream. Hey, Titan, welcome to the show. I've been known to do some JavaScripting. I've done a little bit of bot scripting for Node.js. 
I did one stream where I did some Visual Basic programming to get the um, to get this thing. I guess that's a reasonable one. It just hasn't been populated yet. Seems good to me. You know what? That's a very repeatable string of keys that I'm doing. I'm going to create a small macro for that. And I'm going to program it to my... I send email button, macro, create a new macro, blah, blah, foo bar. And it's going to be click. Control V, tab, tab. V Enter Control Tab. Okay, and that's the send email button. Try it out. Um, it is actually the keyboard driver for the Microsoft keyboard that I use. Why is it not working? <clears throat> Try it. 
Control V, Tab, Control V, Enter, Control Tab. Click, Control V, Tab, Control V, Enter, Control Tab. Oh, that's why. Because I had the function lock on. So now I just have to tap one button to do all that over and over and over again. I've also been known to use auto hotkey to create macros. And that brings me back around. but those are usually more complex macros. You can get a um, the code for some of those on my wiki page in my sandbox. So if you go to user, technical 13, and you go to my sandbox, you'll see that I have some MIRC scripts that I've done, um, notepad UDLs, and auto hotkey. So currently the only one that's available is combined shards or frags. So you use Windows key C, pops up a box that says combine epic fragments and Ky Kyber Cyber's dragon shards. How many times should I activate the altar? You'll have to adjust this number to the X coordinate for the center of your activate button. Y coordinate for activate button, do not edit this line or that line. Set this to the default number of times to activate the altar, 10. So here's the actual input box. If error level, so if you hit no, you don't want to do it, then fine, I won't combine them for you. Drops out. If Windows not active, Dungeons and Dragons Online, activate it. Wait until it is active. Wait a second to make sure that it is the foremost window. Loop number of times defined by counter. Click XY, so whatever your XY coordinates are. So that's why you have to make sure that that's the center. Wait eight seconds, because that's how long it takes for the process to go around. Just keep doing it, until it's done. So that's combining shards for you. Set it up where you want, you hit Windows C, and it will combine them for you. We used to have, do the IRC thing, and I had some IRC scripts for MIRC. We had Idle Time Teller, Russian Roulette, Shiny Game, Cobalt Fart Pie, Trap Game, DDO Style Dice, and Craps. I have moved most of that to um, to Discord on Cobalt Worker. So, although I haven't added the games back in, I should probably do that at some time. I do have the DDO Style Dice. Idle time teller is irrelevant because of the way Discord works compared to IRC. Just some notepad URL, UDLs, so DDT and wiki text. So 6.3, notepad plus plus. Anyway. <clears throat> oh yeah, we were working on those two, weren't we? 
Alright, so 27, 31, construct bane weapons, curse. Boom, 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 boom. Let's clear out some of these. I should actually move most of those scripts to um, GitHub. That's why those are tagged as maintenance categories, because they're actually category redirects. But there's no need to have a redirect there anymore. Can't quite see the top of my screen, but there are a lot of tabs up there. Tab space is actually so small I couldn't click on it if I wanted to. They're literally like let's tag. Tagged. Tag your it. Tag your it. Tag your it. Try to go through these as quickly as I can so we can move on to doing something else. Some of these are going pretty quick, so I'm not sure that they're actually all tagged, but we're going to check as we go through and close them. Close. Close, close, close.
That one didn't save. I'll come back to it. Uh oh. <laughs> we might have overloaded the server a little bit. Hopefully the stream's still working properly. If not, you'll be able to catch it on the YouTube later. Going through, making sure. Looks like this on my end, but that happens quite often because I'm streaming. It looks like it's streaming, trying to watch it. You may or may not be able to hear my daughter in the other room yelling at her cat. Cat up. Sounds just like me yelling at my cat. Who's being quiet tonight, today? Oop, looks like I lost chat as well. So let me reload this real quick. It is working for you. Okay, so this one should be marked as a maintenance category. These should be marked as a maintenance category. Oh, wait. Not sure about that. Let's take a look at one of the other deadlies. Ah, so it's deadly plus seven. As opposed to deadly seven. That's why. Okay. So that's why it was deprecated. Double shot items. It was double shot number percent items. Not double shot item slash percent. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, that one's double strike items. Double strike percent items. That probably follows the correct... Yeah. Okay, so that one... Should be marked as a maintenance category. There we go. I got the stream back now.
Yeah, I'm not dropping any frames, but... Tag that one for now. Okay, so these... Should all be tagged. One, two, three. So all of these should probably be tagged because they probably change from Roman numerals to cardinals. I'll tag those. Did Raven Roth go live today? I might have to restart my browser. Let me kill Firefox and restart it. Actually, it's 9.30. Let me um, get some more coffee while that comes back up. I believe they were trying to get it out today. However, they did set a clause that they would definitely have it out before um, January 5th in the pre-order. It said that their target was December 5th, but they reserved the right to take up to January 5th, an extra month. I believe they're going to try to get it out this week with um, one of two raids. And then get the other raid out in two weeks or so. I honestly haven't done a lot of DDO lately. I've been busy doing the whole um, geocaching thing. Where winter sets in and I cache. Okay, so everything's reloading now. All right, and we're back up. I just don't have any background noise. All right, 
Where were we? Internet. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to go through all the ones that aren't tagged as maintenance categories for the most part. There we go. Stream finally came back up on my end. Hmm, that one should be a maintenance category. I'm going to tag it as such. All right, so let me go through and... Eight degrees here today, Eric. I use Celsius as well. It's negative one degrees here. So it's below freezing here. If you haven't already follow, subscribed to my YouTube channel, please feel free to do so. Uh, let's see here, where is my YouTube channel anyway? If you check out my YouTube, if you go to my playlist here, um, let's see here. You'll see some that I saved that I that I checked out, and there's Lotro game stuff, speed runs down, streams Lotro, DDO 10th anniversary. There's a lot of stuff there. D and D videos. Where's the one I'm looking for? The whole shoe cobbles series is there. Here's DDO Wiki Talk. I am from Maine, USA. So there's 80 videos as far. I have a few more videos to upload. Um, I've recently started adding cards and ending stuff. Um, but anyway. Here's the channel. Ep episode 77 was the last DDO Wiki talk I uploaded. I've also done some geo challenges. Like I said, I've been doing the geo, geo caching thing lately. So, yeah, check out my YouTube channel sometime. Check out the DDO Wiki talk section. All right. Okay, that one's already tagged. Let's start tagging some more. Tag, hear it. Okay, so that was the last one. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. 
Oops. My bad. All right, so edit. Edit. Why is that showing 67%? 63, just not updating it. Just waiting for things to catch up. Hey, thanks for subscribing to my YouTube, Eric. Alrighty, circle back around now that we've got them all open. Doing this big bulk edit is making Firefox forget, lose track of me again. That's okay. I 
actually like having about this number of tabs open. Because I look at the tabs at the top, and if they say C, then I'm on the, the category. Then they say eating. And if they have a lowercase d, then it's in the process of processing whatever. So I can tell if it's actually working or not. Or if I skip the tab by accident, need to go back. I'm going to tag this one as a maintenance category. What was the last one? Epic Shields. I'm actually going to tag this one as a maintenance category as well. Welcome, Wild West. Let's add you to the giveaway. Wild West was. Good morning, Samius. Let's add Samius to the giveaway. Gives us seven of ten. Let's take a look at the attendee editor. I think I finished that. I need to go through and work on that sometime. It's a list of all the people that will auto-populate the list. All right, let's add SPYCI underscore. When are you going to join the DDO stream team, Spice? I know that you've been known to do tutorial style videos, how to's, whatnot. All he needs to reinstall it. Don't stream much anymore. All European servers are dead. This category can be deleted. No, no, it can't. Because people might still look it up. Actually, tomorrow, I'm not sure if it'll be tomorrow or not. Or today, or when it will be. I know that they're pushing to try to get it done by the end of the day. I'm actually going to put that at the top, move that down. Like this. I believe there's some 
parameters for maintenance category that will allow me to modify it to be just a small little block. Hide equals one. So I can set hide to one. or hide to true or whatever. There we go. So it's there. Actually, close a bunch of these tabs and take a look at the forums and see if there's been a dev post on downtime notice. All right, let's take a look on the forums. Dev tracker. So they did an Orion restart, but there's there's a DDO screenshot of the week, but there's no notice yet about update 37 going live. Let's check. Lumania Dev Tracker. Review 3 posted yesterday. I'm trying to get out before I can't, before I'm snowed in for the winter. I'm trying to get him caching. Uh, yes, Wild West, there is. Um... See, that's kind of a tricky question because there was the original set of epic items that was named as epic items, and then they changed the definition of epic to be anything over 20. So you basically have to figure out what type of item that you want. It will give you a table that you can sort by minimum level, and then you can see which ones fall into the category of epic being above minimum level 20.
So nothing on the forums about an announcement. Seven minutes should be enough time to finish up what we're doing here. I also had the opportunity last month to go on a road trip with a friend to go pick up his son in Oklahoma and picked up a few caches on the trip there. And I've been deploying a lot of caches, trying to get some winter-friendly ones out there for other people to be able to find. I actually get more enjoyment out of people finding my caches than I do going out and finding other people's caches. I didn't know that key was still on for Mubot. I'll have to fix it later. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull one up in a minute. So do you have a specific type of item that you're interested in? Such as a rune arm or... Yeah. <laughs> um, a specific shield or something like that, Wild West? Crossbows, okay. Are you looking for repeating crossbows, heavy crossbows, light crossbows, great crossbows? What kind of crossbows? Great crossbows and light repeaters. Okay. I'm working down my list of categories that I wanted to finish in this batch. Then we'll go looking for crossbows. Is there a specific level range that you're looking for? Just epic in general, or 25 and up, or... Anything between 21 and 24 because you're level 24, or you're looking for something further on. Twenty to thirty. So anything up there? Okay. Let's go with named. Oh, let's just go with items. We'll start there. Item groups. Items by... Well, actually, this is going to be weapons by type. Yes, she has Titan. So you want to look at great crossbows and repeating light crossbows, right? If we take this one and we sort by level, click it twice to put the, the epic stuff on top. We've got, let's see here, starting at level 22, we got Thunderforge. We got some Temple of Elemental Evil ones. Smoldering, quenched, etched, energized. We have legendary green steel. 
And then we have Epic Leverage, Epic Divine Artillery. Those are your options. For repeating light crossbows, if we click on min level twice to sort the higher level ones on the top, we've got um, Epic Double Crossbow, we've got Slaver's Hand Crossbow, we've got Thunderforged, Needle, Quill Singer, we've got um, Temple of Elemental Evil, Epic Etched, we've got Ep Legendary Green Steel, and then we have Legendary Light. So those are the categories that you need. Or what you're looking at and then you just click on the minimum level header a couple times and it will sort it'll tell you where you find it it'll tell you what's on it if you mouse over it it'll give you a picture of what it looks like unless it's got this little red star and then it will say no picture available so you can see the, the kinetic for it the graphic There's the leverage, there's the Divine Artillery. I personally like the Divine Artillery. Sovereign Vorpal, Eldritch, plus 12, Flame Touch Iron. Stealth Strike's good for, you know, the roguey type. Epic Leverage is more human-specific. Piercing damage for things that are, you know, not immune to piercing. Frostbite. Applies, applies a stack of vulnerable. Got a purple slot. That one's got an orange slot. They can all have mythics. So... This is outdated information. Actually go to the leverage page and fix that. Yep, so if you go to whatever type of weapon it is and search the category, you can sort them. Not a shield. And anything can have the weapon. I'm going to space these all out properly. best part is that those tables and those categories are built based on the information for the item itself. So you go to the item page, and anything you change here will change in that table within 24 hours. Alrighty, 10.02, that wraps up our, our stream for today. Unfortunately, we didn't quite make it to 10 attendees, so we're not going to do the, the, the roll this week. I'll make sure that I save it. And close that out. That wraps this up for the week. Um, tune in next week. And this is actually the, the code for the application there. See all the code there is available. I'll put it up on GitHub sometime. Hey, Forehand, just missed the stream. 
just finishing up right now. <laughs> so this is real easy for that. Anyway. Close that out. Waiting for that to close out. This is our These are my SSG codes. I'm all out of collector's editions, I'm all out of druids, I'm all out of half orcs. I have one starter pack left, but I'm saving that for later. I've got three five hundred DP point codes left. I've got some Lotro stuff too. But most of those are reserved for other contests that I'm working on. And shut that down. And I'm probably going to work on unused categories a little bit later. So we'll leave that there. Um, uh, Samius, are you streaming DDO today? You said you were, right? Let's take a look. All right, so what I will do is I will end my stream and pop a raid over to Samus Garibos channel. Uh, thank you everybody for watching.